Howdy, 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 everybody! I am Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and welcome back to The Adventures of Lolo 3! Last time we took on the tutorial in the first level, I'm gonna switch it up, play as Lala for level 2. Ah. Ah, yes. Nothing really new here. Just taking the enemies, throwing them here. Enemy placement can make or break a level. For example, by moving this goal up against the wall, it'll never hit me. Like so. <laughs> and boom. Okay, skulls. They are another enemy that come to life once you um, once you get all the hearts. And also we have one way one way panels. Pretty much what it says on the tin. Now, you can come at it from the side, which you'll see plenty of later on. But you can all you cannot go in the opposite direction of the arrow. Ah, grab the heart. Skulls come out. Just like all wandering enemies, they're stopped by grass, but not by sand. You'll see what I mean later. All right, level three. Rockies. Oh God, I hate these fucking things. Most people, most Lolo players hate these fucking things. I think they just walk around. They don't kill you on contact. But, um, a small demonstration, please. They can and will push you into anything and everything. They can even trap you. But if you get trapped, you just hit the select button and you'll restart. Thankfully, they don't kill you on touch. And they also stop when you're within, like, a block or two from them. Again. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, and here we go. More skulls, goals. Okay, here's how we do this. Put a goal here. And a goal here. Then you move Mr. Snakey and Mrs. Snakey right up here to block these skulls in. And the goals can't even fire at me. Ha 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 ha! And ali oop, and oopily ow. Boom. They can try, but you can't shoot through rocks. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, my absolute favorite enemy in the entire Lolo series. Meet Don Medusa. He's a Medusa that moves. Thankfully, only moves in one direction. But um, that one direction. And by the way, if you just so happen. It will kill you on touch. You're not normally put in a situation like that, but um, it happens sometimes. Best thing to do is to try and corner it somewhere and block it off as much as possible. Also, only one egg can be floating at a time. We get a key! Hooray! Ah, yes, so we'll head over here. And and have you noticed? This used to be a river. I blame this crack here. But, um... But, yeah. With the key, you can open up level 3. Hooray! Oh, so uh, this is where I'm going to call it for this one. Definitely a shorter video than the first one. But these first levels, they're going to be relatively short. They're going to get longer as the game progresses. Because it's been a long ass time since I've been through this. Oh! Oh! So with that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit that like button. If it's set up, the, if it's set up in such a way, you can even spread it to your friends this way. So you can subscribe over here for more videos if you want to see more like this. And of course, comments are always appreciated down below. And if you want to help more directly, there are two ways you can do that. You can hit the RT Gomer Production Sword. Link is down in the doobly doo. Buy a button. Buy a shirt. You got you got the logo on your shirt, and it helps support this not only these videos but also the site itself too, which is amazing. And, of course, if you want to help even more directly, but don't really want to buy a shirt or anything, you can go to patreon.com slash gomer21xx, throw enough money at me, and I will advertise your stuff at the end of these videos. Uh, so take care, folks, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.